Now, well, it would be lovely to escape to a holiday in the sun. Lots of us are choosing to stay at home. Speak for yourself. And lots of trips and outings are being planned here to keep us entertained as Pamela found out on a blustery day out. I love this part of the world. This is Strangford Loch. And the best place to see it is, of course, from the sea, which is why we're in Killalay today and why I've got my buoyancy aid on. This is the launch of the Strangford Loch Canoe Trail, although judging by the strength and direction of the wind today, I'm just not too sure how much canoeing there's going to be, but we'll keep the fingers crossed. And our destination was a little off the coast on one of the 365 islands in Strangford Loch, Salt Island. Now, due to the strong winds and tide, it was thought safer to take the guests by boat and then transfer on the leeward side of the island through the shallows by canoe. The Strangford Loch Canoe Trail is the fifth one to be opened in the province, and this one covers about 80 nautical square miles. Well, the Canoe Trail is really all about providing people with um, access to the water and enough information for them to complete their uh, canoeing trip. So really, uh, this Canoe Trail offers um, a series of public access points all around the loch, um, interspersed with a range of suitable facilities, toilets, car parking, somewhere to eat, sleep, drink, all that type of thing, um, as well as a bothy here, of course, in Salt Island, where we are today. It's about providing the information so that you can say, right, OK, well, I'll start in Strangford and I'll finish up um, at uh, Delamont for a little short trip, or I'll paddle across the Narrows, if I'm an expert canoeist, um, from Strangford to Port Ferry, have a look at the sails, on up to Kirkcubbin, something like that. It's really, as you say, it's to tailor make your own trip with the information provided. Well, you mentioned the notorious Narrows, so things like that, hazards, they're pointed out as well. Absolutely, absolutely. We want to provide the right information so that only the only suitably experienced people tackle um, uh, certain sections of of the lock. As well as launching the canoe trail, the reason we were on Salt Island was for the official opening of what would be a very welcome sight to many a weary canoer, the Bothy. A, a Bothy is a simple shelter, really, and traditionally it would have been you know, used in wild areas for um, people looking after sheep or cattle up in, in the mountains. Um, in Ireland sometimes they're called bully huts as well, you know, there's a tradition of bullying, and that's where people would go up into the highland areas to look after the animals during the, uh, during the, in the summertime and the grazing. Uh, and that, the, the story is that's what happened around Strangford Lock as well, and that the, the, the islands were used for summer grazing. People came out and stayed on the islands during the summer, and this is uh, a restored version of, of an original bothy or bully uh, here. More in this country, we were, uh, I suppose it's more uh, associated with Scotland really than, than Ireland, but we want to resurrect bothies as a place now for modern day travellers who want to go into wild places to stay in. In Strangford, I think it's the perfect combination where you know, you're not just going out under the water and then sort of going back to civilization. if you like. You can go out and stay in the, in the environment and that's really what's special about Strangford and what's special about this canoe trail.